Hi guys, it's Miss Ellen from Hopes. Um, today we're gonna read The Day the Crowns Quit. So this is an oldie but goodie. And let's just get started with this one. So our friend Duncan, he's got a bunch of crayons. So one day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Well, that's unusual. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. Whew. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts at Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Sounds like he is a little exhausted. I know you guys are hard workers and sometimes get tired too. Wow, look at this one. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, for dragons and wizards, uh, wizard hats, and it goes, it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the line soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. So, he likes to stay in the lines, and it seems like he gets upset when his color is wasted elsewhere. Oh man, this guy looks like he's got a frown and really sad, let's see. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I'm neither. I am beige, oh, and I'm proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets all the bears, all the ponies, all the puppies. Well, the only things I get are turkey dinner, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid get really excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. Okay. So it seems like he doesn't get used a lot and he is sad about that. Oh man. Can you see this one? This is giant. Wow. Okay, let's check this out. Duncan, great crayon here. You're killing me. Whew. I know you love elephants and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color all by myself. And don't even get me started on the rhinos, the hippos, and the humpback whales. Oh my gosh. If you know how tired I am after, oh my gosh, after handling all those things, with such big animals. I mean, those are big. They're over more than a whole page, right? Easy. You know what? Guess what? Baby penguins are gray too. You know? So are little tiny rocks and little tiny pebbles. Hey, how about some of those once in a while, right? Give me a break. Okay, your very tired friend, Gray Crayon. And he's not kidding, those are really big ones. Okay, can you guys see this one? Oof. Okay, dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time I'm the same color as the page you're using me on, white. So if I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. Oh, I might not even be in the rainbow, but I'm not used to color snow. I'm only used to color snow or fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk, your empty friend, white crayon. Wow. Right, do you guys use the white one often? I know, we see them left over or left out a lot. Okay, here's one over here. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. You know, things are color in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. Hmm. It's not fair that you use me to draw a nice big beach ball. Why couldn't you do that? And then you fill it in with all the other colors. How about a black beach ball sometime? Hmm? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. So it feels like this one's feeling a little bit left out. Seems like they all want to be used and they all are important, right? 
All right, let's check out this one. Dear Duncan, as green crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I've got no problem with it. Um, and I wanna congratulate you on a very successful Coloring Things Green career so far. The second reason I write is that two of my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who they're no longer speaking to each other. That's a problem, right? Both crayons feel like they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they are driving the rest of us crazy. You're very happy friend, green crayon. You can see he gets a lot of use there. A lot of green things, right? Now this one, okay. Dear Duncan, yellow crayon here. I need you to tell orange crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we're no longer on speaking terms and I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your happy farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal, the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. So I know sometimes we get in arguments with our friends and we don't talk and that makes both of us really sad. Oh, here are our friends again. Let's see what happened. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because Thursday you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper. He's twice. Pages in your day at the zoo coloring book. Aren't you glad I'm here? <laughs> uh, your pal and the real color of the sun, orange crayon. Right. He did use them twice there. There's a lot going on here. So let's see this one. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color in the past year and the year before that and the year before that. But I've really enjoyed all those oceans and lakes and rivers and raindrops, rain clouds and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am short and stubby. I can't even see over the railing and the crayon box anymore. That's how much he's been used, right? I need a break. Whew. Your very stubby friend, blue crayon. All right, so he's really, he's been, seems like he's been used the most because he's teeny tiny. Do you see him over there? All right. Wearing himself out. These guys are working hard. And here is another one, ready? Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. Oh, he feels neglected and left out. Because you think I'm a girl color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying in the lines. Now, back to you, back to us. Can you please use me sometime in the color in the occasional pink elephant or pink monster or cowboy, right? Oh, goodness knows they could use a little splash of color. Your unused friend, pink crayon. Oh man, what do you think is happening here? Hey Duncan, it's me, peach crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. Ooh, can you imagine? How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. All right. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. <gasps> Look at that and all those amazing colors. Wow. And an A plus for creativity. So what do they do best, right? They all color and they're all amazing. 
right? So working on their own, they're all amazing, but you know what? It was more special and more amazing and even more amazing when they worked together and he did really well. Um, so I know the crayons wanted to quit, but when they worked together, they did amazing, beautiful, fabulous work. So don't quit and hang tough and we hope to see you soon.